Swayam Prabha. Digital India. Educated India. So, we had uh, two lectures on Aryabhatiya. Now, I will be dealing with the third part of our discussion on Aryabhatiya. So, if you recall uh, in the second part, so our lecture more or less ended with uh, the discussion on the geometrical approach to finding the sign table. So, I will uh, start with that to recapitulate and then we will proceed with the analytic approach and uh, this analytic approach which has been presented by Aryabhata has in fact no parallel anywhere else in the civilization till even up to 15th century because what he has primarily done is uh, the discrete version of what we know as harmonic equation today. So, that is what it seems to be. So, it is a very interesting thing. So, we will have a more detailed analysis on this uh, in a lecture exclusively devoted for discussion on how the uh, sign values have been improved upon over a period of time. Then I will move on to certain uh, interesting problems which have been discussed by Aryabhata. So, in connection with certain formulae which he presents with this uh, simple tool which we have been referring to as Shanku. So, that is what is referred to as gnomonic shadow. So, in Sanskrit it will be called Shanku Chaya. So, based on that what are the things that can be found. We will uh, discuss an application in astronomy and then even in a day to day basis suppose there is a lamp. So, if you want to find out the height of the lamp, if you want to find out the distance of the lamp. So, how does this device help? So, in finding all these uh, quantities which will be of practical use. So, we will do that. Then we will move on to the discussion of the famous Bhuja Koti Karna Nyaya. Of course, it has been dealt with in great detail, but what I am going to do is basically choose some very interesting problems which have been given by Bhaskara in connection with that. So, here you will also notice what I have written is Jya Shara Samvarga Nyaya. So, Jya as I said, so is the card, semi card. So, Shara refers to the Bana. So, Samvarga is product. So, here it is basically the product of the cards is same this, this we know in a circle. So, what are the applications of this rule? So, that is what I will be dealing with uh, in great detail and in this connection Bhaskara has presented very interesting problems as illustration. So, those will also be dealt with. So, the hack rat problem, hawk rat problem, the bamboo problem, the lotus problem, the fish cane problem. So, all that will be uh, highlighted today. Then I will move on to the arithmetic progression and sum of series. So, to recapitulate what we did, so this geometric approach essentially had a simple observation that the chord length of one sixth of the circumference is going to be radius. So, with this the entire table was constructed. Once you know that uh, the I told you that uh, the radius so is determined based on the value of pi which is given by. So, once that is known 3 4 3 8. So, then we know r sin 30. So, r sin 30 is known and therefore, this uh, c d is also known r cos 30 is known and then r minus r cos 30 which is verse sin is known. So, b c is known, c d is known and therefore, this hypotenuse b d is known and uh, from b d you get sin 15 degrees. So, sin 30 is known, sin 15 is known and this general principle sin theta to cos theta, cos theta to verse theta and from these two you get sin theta by 2. So, this is the principle and uh, so as I showed you, uh, so the table goes like this. So, once you know r sin 90 and then with sin 30 you will be able to get almost 15 values. Okay. So, this is what this tree is and uh, this tree presents 8 values. So, 15 plus uh, 3 23 and sin 90 basically you get all the 24 values of sign. So, what is interesting to note here is 
so the geometric approach does not mean you measure, so it is in some sense, so you observe the geometry and then you get it, so that is what it is all about and you do not do any measurement taking a rope and then determine the sign value that does not mean that. All that is required in this is basically uh, a technique for obtaining square and square root which has been thoroughly discussed by Aryabhata and uh, so you will be able to generate the sign table. So, this is what it is. Now, I move on to then another verse which presents the analytic expression with which it is a sort of recursion relation. So, based on which we will be able to get the entire sign table constructed. The verse goes like this Prathamat chapajyardhat yei runam khanditam dviti yardham tat prathamajyardham shaihi taistai runani sheshani. In fact, this is one of the most terse verses which can be found in Aryabhatiya and it is extremely difficult for uh, figuring out any meaning out of it, but for the help of the commentators. So, in fact, this verse has been slightly differently interpreted by different commentators. So, Bhaskara has given a certain uh, understanding uh, to us and Nilakantha slightly differently presents this, but ultimately all of them agree that this is the recursion relation, but uh, how is the recursion relation to be extracted out of this verse there has been slightly different approaches. So, now I am not going to discuss that in great detail, all that I want to say is this verse basically translates into this equation. So, if you look at suppose I know value of sin theta, so theta here is a certain unit and this unit as I mentioned, so if you divide the quadrant into 24, this happens to be 225 minutes. So, all that you do is sin theta is theta you just take as a first approximation, so you take sin 225 minutes is same as 225, okay. so you just take this. Then how do you generate the entire table? So, the relation which has been presented by Aryabhata amounts to this. So, R sin theta is known here and uh, for any value you will be able to generate once the first value is known using this relation. If you take i is equal to 1 and you want to get i plus 1, right. So, this is how the recursion relation is used. So, you know for first value now you have to, so suppose you take i is 1. So, then what is i plus 1 theta sin 2 theta, so will be, so in this relation, so this is 0, right. So, and we have sin theta here, so the sin theta minus sin theta by sin theta, so minus 1, so the second value will be 224, the first value is 225, second value will be 224. So, once you know the second value, so you use this recursion relation, you will get the entire sign table. So, this is the method which has been, so the uh, method which has been presented by Aryabhata, so is to essentially get the sign difference table. So, what he does is from the previous value, see, so this is previous value, these two terms put together, so you have this the previous value of sin theta, so divide by, so the, this, this factor is same, so this is 1 by 225 is what Aryabhata has chosen. The exact recursion relation, this is easily obtained, one can show that the factor which we will have here is 2 into 1 minus cos theta. So, later astronomers, so this I will discuss in greater detail in a separate lecture. So, they have chosen the value, see 1 by 225 amounts to this and the other astronomers have given, this value is exact value is this and as an improvement, so this has been. Um, refined instead of 1 by 225, so the astronomers in the Kerala school have chosen the constant to be 233 and half, okay. that will be very very close to this almost to 6 to 7 decimal place accurate. So, how did they do etcetera will become clear when we move on to the uh, Kerala school, our discussion on Kerala school will make everything clear to you. So, with this I just want to uh, make one observation. 
as regards this method which has been presented by Aryabhata, this analytic approach to get the sign table. So, there is an interesting observation which has been made by D'Alembert. He says the method which is curious, he refers to the uh, difference sign difference table which has been obtained just now discussed now about this he says this method is curious. It indicates a method of calculating the table of signs by means of their second differences. If you note this, so this is basically first difference and first difference. So, if you find the difference of these two first differences, all that you notice it is proportional to sign. So, this is what I meant by saying that this amounts to the difference equation, second order difference equation. Okay. So, that is what he has in his mind when he says that by means of second differences, the differential process has not up to now been employed except by Briggs. So, he is talking about in 16th to 17th century and uh, who himself did not know that the constant factor was the square of the cot. Here then is a method which the Indians possessed and which is found neither amongst Greeks nor amongst Arabs. So, this is something which is quite unique. Now, I move on to problems related to the Shanku. So, Shanku Gunam, Shanku Bhuja Vivaram, Shanku Bhujayor Vishesha Hritam, Yel Labdham Saat Chaya Nyaya Shanko Ho Swamuladhi. So, this is verse wherein he presents a certain formula. So, which has to do with the shadow, how to obtain the shadow length and so on. So, in the figure if you note x y is the shanku, okay, this is our device with which we carry on the experiment and here a c represents the lamp post. So, here this verse says Shanku Gunam Shanku Bhuja Vivaram. The term Bhuja has to be understood, just keep in mind because we will have an occasion to uh, recall this, and therefore, I have given the note which has been given by Bhaskara. Here he says Bhuja Shabdena Pradipo Chrayaha Uchyate. The Pradipa is so lamp, lamp post, Uchrayaha the height of it. So, this bhuja of course, it can be once you consider a right angle triangle either this can be chosen as bhuja or this can be chosen as bhuja does not matter, but here so they have created a certain connotation and this connotation has been made clear by Bhaskara in his commentary, because this will be other con otherwise confusing. So, shanku bhuja vivaram, bhuja is this and shanku is this and vivara basically means the distance of separation. What is stated in the verse is Shanku Gunam, Shanku is x y, Guna is multiplication, Shanku Bhuja Vivaram take a product, product of the distance of separation a x, Shanku Gunam, Shanku Bhuja Vivaram, Shanku Bhujayor Vishesha Hritam. See, this word Vishesha is used to find the uh, difference between two quantities. So, Vishesha normally means uh, speciality. But in the context of mathematical text, many a times you will find the vishesha to be used to refer to the difference. So, Shanku Bhujayor Vivaram basically is the difference in the heights of Shanku and this Bhuja, which is the lamp post. So, this is what it is A c is Bhuja Uchraya, so the height of that, and the x y is Shanku. Shanku Bhujayor Vishesha is the difference of the two, Hritam is division. Fine. So, Shanku Bhujayor Vishesha Hritam. Yel Labdham, whatever you obtain is Saat Chaya Nyaya Shanku Ho. So, he says that this is basically the shadow of the Shanku. So, this uh, verse has been stated by Aryabhata in order to uh, obtain the shadow that is cast by Shanku, okay, the length of the shadow. So, which means, I mean, if you know these two things, xy and ac. So, then you will be able to get this, but this has a certain astronomical application and uh, that is why he has given this relation. So, otherwise I mean this is just based on so two similar triangles and you will be able to get this relation. 
So Swamuladhi means Swam here refers to Shanku. So XB Swamulat is from the base of the Shanku, wherever is going to be the tip of the shadow. So this is what this gives. So this is a simple straightforward application of considering two similar triangles. Okay. So the application comes here. In the case of uh, lunar eclipse, so you can think of see you just uh, see this. So this is basically a depiction of what is happening in a lunar eclipse. So the moon enters into the shadow, and uh, Earth is in between the sun and the moon. And uh, if you just think of cutting this into half, so basically what you have is this kind of a setup. So here the Shanku can be taken to be the radius of the earth, semi diameter of the earth and uh, this, uh, this object <laughs> AC is semi diameter of the sun. So basically the rays from this top, so as it moves and it goes and reaches this point. So if you know this, this Shanku height and uh, this height then you will be able to get the shadow, this is what basically. Aryabhata said and this is an application and uh, wherein you know the semi diameter of earth, you know the semi diameter of sun, so all these will be specified and with these two you will be able to and how do you know the distance between sun and the earth, so that is uh, see in terms of certain other, it is not the exact distance, but uh, we will be able to uh, get from the what is known as uh, this Mandakarna. Okay. This is one application. The other application is so very practical. So suppose you have a, a lamp post and if you want to find out the height of the lamp post. So you can actually measure the shadow, so this is just a reverse problem. So you know the shadow, you measure the shadow and hence you can calculate any other quantity. So this is another, uh, this, 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 this problem has been uh, given as an illustration by Bhaskara. He says Chaya Shodasa Drishta, so you found the length of the shadow to be 16, dva saptati uchritasya deepasya, so deepa is the lamp post, dva saptati is 72, 72 is the height of this post, moolam kiyata shanko ho, dva dashakasya twaya vachyam, so twaya vachyam you have to say, so what is this distance ax, so you have to specify, so this is just a illustration, so you know one you get the other, so this is just okay, so we will move on to other interesting uh, verse in Aryabhatiya and in fact the commentary to this verse by Bhaskara is something which is very very uh, edifying I would say, I will discuss that. Chaya gunitam chayagra vivaram unena bhajitam koti, shanku guna koti sa chaya bhakta bhuja bhavati. So the problem here is to find out, I mean one, 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 one uh, important application is to find out the height of a lamp post, this, is, this can be considered to be a general problem of this nature. And here what he says is, you carry out the experiment twice, so once keep the shanku in one place, move the shanku to another place, so and then measure the shadows that are cast, so from that, so what is it that you can do. So the formulation of the problem is this way, chaya gunitam chayagra vivaram, let me uh, explain this with equations. So chaya is the length of the shadow, okay. so chaya, so the length of the shadow, so here refers to mc as well as qd, okay. chaya. So both are chayas since you are carrying out twice, then chayagra vivaram, chayagra is the tip of the shadow, vivara is separation, so chayagra vivaram, so if you consider these two shadows basically it represents CD, so C is one chayagra and D is another chayagra, so chayagra vivaram basically is CD, chayagunitam chayagra vivaram. Unena bhajitam koti. So, una is basically subtraction, 
but what Vuna so Aryabhata has not stated, but this has to be understood and uh, here so this happens to be the difference in the chayas. Okay. Mahata chayena alpa chaya, so you have to subtract, so una is the remainder, okay. so that is what he is mentioned by Aryabhata by the word unena, unena bhajitam, bhajitam is divided, so what it gives is koti he says, so koti is actually a dual usage, koti hi koti, so there are two kotis okay. <laughs> and what does this koti mean, so that is why I said you remember the word bhuja was used to refer to the height of the slam pole. So, if that is bhuja, then obviously the perpendicular is koti and the perpendicular here refers to the plane here, see. So, this is what is koti and here there will be two kotis and uh, if this is bhuja, if you conduct uh, the experiment by placing the shanku at m, then B c is one koti if you conduct the experiment by placing shanku at q then bd is koti so since this is bhuja both of them are kotis depending on where you place the shanku and that is why we have the dual usage so koti so this formulation which aryabhata has given for the expression of koti so you get two expressions for koti one is for bd uh, the other is bc so look at this now and uh, connect it with the verse so chaya gunitam so chaya so is qd in first case chaya gunitam so gunitam what so cd so chaya agra vivaram okay chaya gunitam chaya agra vivaram then you divide by unena bhajitam koti so this is one koti this is another koti shanku guna koti so then he says you multiply this koti by shanku. So, P q and L m in fact both are shankus okay. so, they are of the same dimension obviously. So, when you conduct this experiment shanku guna koti sa chaya bhakta chaya bhakta divided by the chaya corresponding chayas. Okay. So, if you then that will give you bhuja. So, either you can use this expression or you can use this expression and you will be able to get the height of the shank, uh, lamp post. Bhaskara presents some interesting discussion on the propriety of the application of this rule to find the distance of separation between sun and the earth. So, one can think of sun to be a sort of lamp right, lamp post so it is there, so you can use this so you can do can we conduct such an experiment and then get the distance of the sun from the earth <laughs> so this is what he is so vishuva dahani so vishuvat means a certain day it is actually referred to as equinoxial day so sun actually moves from uh, equinox towards the north and then again towards the south so this is what we call as uttarayanam dakshinayanam and all that but suppose uh, you conduct the experiment on an equinoxial day. So, Vishuva Dahani, so he says Gaganatala Madhyavartini Savitari, Savita is sun. So, imagine that the sun is exactly on the prime meridian. So, when the sun is on prime meridian, so the shadow will be exactly in the north south line. Okay. So, Gaganatala Madhyavarti Savitari, Samadakshinotara Chayagrantarala Yojanaihi. So, Chaya Visheshena. Shankunacha. See, so Chaya Vishesha is uh, so just now we had uh, a discussion of finding the difference in the Chayas, right? So, the difference between the Chaya. So, he says Chaya Vishesha you can find. So, you have the Shanku. So, with all this, he Kechit some people they felt Vivasva Davani Talantara Yojanani Anayanti. So, they try to do this. So, Vivasvat, Vivaswan is sun, Avanitala is bhumi. So, they thought that they can find out the distance of separation between the earth and the sun. So, by conducting this kind of an experiment. Okay. So, then he says tadayuktam means it is improper. Atra 
ಪ್ರದೀಪಛಾಯಾದ್ವಯ ಕರ್ಮ ಕರ್ಮಾಲಾಪಾವತಾರೋಪಿ ನೋಪಪದ್ಯತೆ ಇನ್ಫ್ಯಾಕ್ಟ್ ಹಿ ಸೇಸ್ ಇನ್ಫ್ಯಾಕ್ಟ್ ಈವನ್ ಟು ಕನ್ಸೀವ್ ಆಫ್ ಟು ಸ್ಪೀಕ್ ಆಫ್ ಸೊ ದಟ್ ಐ ಮೀನ್ ಐ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಥಿಂಕ್ ಆಫ್ ಟೂ ಪ್ಲೇಸಿಂಗ್ ಶಂಕೂಸ್ ಅಟ್ ಟೂ ಡಿಫ್ರೆಂಟ್ ಪ್ಲೇಸಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದೆನ್ ಸೊ ದಿ ಛಾಯಾ ಮೆಷರ್ಡ್ ಸೊ ದಿಸ್ ಈಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಆ್ಯಕ್ಚುಲಿ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ವರ್ಕ್ ಔಟ್ ಕುತ ಹಿ ಆಸ್ ಸೊ ಯಸ್ಮಾದ ಭೂರವಿ ವಿವರಂ ವಿಭಜೇತ್ ಭೂ ಶಂಕು ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಸೋ ಆನ್ ಹಿ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಗೋಸ್ ಆನ್ ಸೊ ಬಟ್ ದ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಸೊ ವಾಟ್ ವಿ ನೀಡ್ ಟು ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಈಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ಈಸ್ ಸಮಥಿಂಗ್ ವಿಚ್ ಈಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಅಸ್ಟ್ರೋನಾಮಿಕಲ್ ಮ್ಯಾಗ್ನಿಟ್ಯೂಡ್ ದ ಡಿಸ್ಟೆನ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದಿ ಎಂಟೈ ಎರ್ತ್ ಈಸ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಎ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಆಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟ್ ಸೊ ಇಫ್ ಯು ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಥಿಂಕ್ ಆಫ್ ಪ್ಲೇಸಿಂಗ್ ಎ ಶಂಕು ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದೆನ್ ಥಿಂಕಿಂಗ್ ಆಫ್ ದಟ್ ಲ್ಯಾಂಪ್ ಐ ಮೀನ್ ವೆದರ್ ಯು ಪ್ಲೇಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಆರ್ ಯು ಪ್ಲೇಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಇನ್ ಮುಂಬೈ ಆರ್ ಯು ಪ್ಲೇಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಎಲ್ಸ್ವೇರ್ ಸೊ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಮೇಕ್ ಎನಿ ಸಾರ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಡಿಫ್ರೆನ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ದಿಸ್ ಈಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ವರ್ಕ್ ಔಟ್ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಐ ಥಿಂಕ್ ಭಾಸ್ಕರ್ ಆ ವಾಂಟ್ಸ್ ಟು ಇಂಪ್ಲೈ ಸೊ ದಟ್ ಯು ಕೆನಾಟ್ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಥಿಂಕ್ ಆಫ್ ಯೂಸಿಂಗ್ ದಿಸ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪೆರಿಮೆಂಟ್ ಟು ಫೈಂಡ್ ಔಟ್ ದಿ ಡಿಸ್ಟೆನ್ಸ್ ಬಿಟ್ವೀನ್ ದಿ ಎರ್ತ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದ ಸನ್ ಸೊ ದಿಸ್ ಈಸ್ ಸಮಥಿಂಗ್ ವಿಚ್ ಈಸ್ ಆಬ್ವಿಯಸ್ಲಿ ಪಾಸಿಬಲ್ ಫಾರ್ ಡಿಸ್ಟೆನ್ಸಸ್ ವಿಚ್ ಈಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಟೆರೆಸ್ಟ್ರಿಯಲ್ ಮ್ಯಾಗ್ನಿಟ್ಯೂಡ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ನಾಟ್ ಸೆಲೆಸ್ಟ್ರಿಯಲ್ ಮ್ಯಾಗ್ನಿಟ್ಯೂಡ್ ಸೊ ದಿಸ್ ಈಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಕನ್ವೇ ದೆನ್ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟೂ ನ್ಯಾಯಾಸ್ ಸೊ ವಿಚ್ ಈಸ್ ಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟೆಡ್ ಇನ್ ಒನ್ ಆರ್ಯ ನ್ಯಾಯ ಈಸ್ ಎ ಸರ್ಟನ್ ಥೇರಮ್ ಸೊ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಟೇಕ್ ಇಟ್ ಟು ಬಿ ಎ ಜನರಲ್ ಪ್ರಿನ್ಸಿಪಲ್ ಇಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ ನ್ಯಾಯ ಸೊ ಹಿ ಸೇಸ್ ಎಷ್ಟೈವ ಭುಜಾವರ್ಗ ಕೋಟಿ ವರ್ಗಶ್ಚ ಕರ್ಣವರ್ಗ ಸಹ ಸೊ ದಿಸ್ ಈಸ್ ಸಮಥಿಂಗ್ ವಿಚ್ ಈಸ್ ವೆರಿ ವೆಲ್ ನೋನ್ ಸೊ ಭುಜಾವರ್ಗ ಕೋಟಿ ವರ್ಗ ಈಸ್ ಕರ್ಣವರ್ಗ ಸೊ ಥಿಂಕ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿಸ್ ಸೊ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಟು ಮೇಕ್ ದಿ ಟರ್ಮ್ಸ್ ಫೆಮಿಲಿಯರ್ ಮನ್ಸ್ ಮೋರ್ ಐ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಥಿಂಕ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿಸ್ ಟ್ರೈಯಾಂಗಲ್ ಒ ಎ ಇ ಎ ಇ ಈಸ್ ಭುಜ ಒ ಇ ಈಸ್ ಕೋಟಿ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಎ ಒ ಈಸ್ ಕರ್ಣ ಸೊ ಹಿ ಸೇಸ್ ಒ ಇ ಸ್ಕ್ವೇರ್ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಎ ಇ ಸ್ಕ್ವೇರ್ ಈಸ್ ಒ ಎ ಸ್ಕ್ವೇರ್ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ದಿಸ್ ಈಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಹಿ ಸೇಸ್ ಭುಜಾವರ್ಗ ದೆನ್ ಇನ್ ದಿ ಲೇಟರ್ ಹಾಫ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ವರ್ಸ್ ವೃತ್ತೆ ಶರಸಂವರ್ಗ ಅರ್ಧಜ್ಯಾವರ್ಗ ಸಖಲು ಧನುಷೋ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ದಿ ಅದರ್ ನ್ಯಾಯ ವಿಚ್ ಐ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ರೆಫರ್ ಟು ಆಸ್ ಜ್ಯಾ ಶರಸಂವರ್ಗ ನ್ಯಾಯ ಸೊ ಜ್ಯಾ ಈಸ್ ಅರ್ಧಜ್ಯ ಎ ಇ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಇ ಸಿ ಸೊ ದ ಪ್ರಾಡಕ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಎ ಇ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಇ ಸಿ ಸೊ ಇ ಸಿ ಈಸ್ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ಎ ಇ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದರ್ ಫಾರ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಎ ಇ ಸ್ಕ್ವೇರ್ ಸೊ ವಿಚ್ ಈಸ್ ಸೇಮ್ ಆಸ್ ದಿ ಪ್ರಾಡಕ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಡಿ ಇ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಇ ಬಿ ದಿ ಶರ ಈಸ್ ಬೇಸಿಕಲಿ ಎರೋ ಸೊ ಇಫ್ ಯು ಕನ್ಸೀವ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿಸ್ ಪಾರ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಸರ್ಕಲ್ ಎ ಬಿ ಸಿ ದೆನ್ ಇ ಬಿ ಇಸ್ ಶರ ಕನ್ಸಿಡರ್ ದ ಅದರ್ ಪಾರ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಸರ್ಕಲ್ ಎ ಡಿ ಸಿ ದೆನ್ ಡಿ ಇ ಇಸ್ ಶರ ಸೊ ಆಲ್ ದಟ್ ಹಿ ಸೇಸ್ ಈಸ್ ಶರ ಸಂವರ್ಗ ದ ಪ್ರಾಡಕ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಶರಾಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ಸೊ ದಿಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ವಿ ಕಾಲ್ ಎಸ್ ಪ್ರಾಡಕ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಕಾರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಓಕೆ ದಿಸ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಬೀನ್ ಇಲ್ಲಸ್ಟ್ರೇಟೆಡ್ ವಿತ್ ವೆರಿ ಇಂಟ್ರೆಸ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ಪ್ರಾಬ್ಲಮ್ಸ್ ಬೈ ಭಾಸ್ಕರ ಸೊ ಐ ಥಾಟ್ ಐ ವಿಲ್ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಸ್ಪೆಂಡ್ a few minutes on that see this uh, application of this has been illustrated in various contexts so which look quite apparently different but then the principle which has to be employed is one and the same so that has been very beautifully brought out by bhaskara by giving very interesting examples the first problem is this this hack rot
Shiena is this hawk or falcon. Okay. Shiena sthana uchraya is the height of that. So Shiena sthana uchraya the height of the pole. So now the problem is this. Ashta dashako chraye Shiena ha stambhe yakuhu. Avasan nishkrantaha yekashitya bhayat shenat gachan alaya drishtihi krurena nipatitaha tato marge kiyata prapnoti bilam shena gatirva tada vachyam ok so the problem is the following So let us take this to be the pole. So the Shena is sitting here, that Krura Shena, and uh, Ashta Dashako Chraye. So this is given to be 18. So here is a hole at the bottom of this pole. And then he says some rat which uh, came out of the hole, so it is somewhere here. So this distance he states it as I think uh, 81, Ekashitya. So this circle I just wanted to draw only to show the application of this, uh, direct application of this principle. So he says, so this rat observed this uh, hawk and then it uh, got scared and it wanted to just run into the hole, okay. so that is what it says. So nishkrantaha which has come out, ekashitya bhayat, so out of fear, so it wanted to get into, shenat bhayat, it wanted to get into, gachan alaya drishtihi, this is what is called alaya, its residence, so it just starts moving here, so this rat. But the moment it saw, so it also flew down so and then so it uh, grabbed the rat here and it finished it. So now the question is, so kiyata prapnoti bilam shena gatirva tada vachyam. So shena gati, the distance travelled by shena, okay, shena gatihi. So kiyata bilam prapnoti means so how much it has to cover in order to reach the hole so so what was the distance before which it was caught so basically the question is so what is this and what is this assuming that both of them travel at the same speed so this is the problem and this one can straight away see that it is the application of this ja sarasambarga nyaya which has been discussed. So this distance and this distance are one and the same because they travel at the same speed. So we have this, uh, so suppose uh, we use the same notation that will be easier, so E A, so let us say this is E A, uh, so E A square divided by, so suppose we call this as D, so D is, so suppose this is B is equal to E B. So E A is known, D E So that is all. So you will be able to solve this problem. Okay, this is a direct application of this. Okay. And uh, very different pro problems. More or less, they use the same principle. So 
in fact, the answers are 38 and half and so this is basically, so this you know, so this is r minus x, so this distance you will be able to solve this problem. And what you will basically get is, so this uh, 81 plus 4, so this will be 4, so if you do that, so 81 plus 4 by 2, so and uh, this will be the radius and 81 minus 4 by 2, so that will be the, this is what 2 are. Okay. So, these are the answers. Then we have this bamboo problem. So, Shodasha Hastaha Vamshaha Pavanena Nipatitaha Swamulatu Ashtau Gatwa Patitaha Kasmin Bhagnaha Marutvato Vachyaha. So, he says think of a bamboo and uh, this bamboo Shodasha Hastaha. So, it is the height is 16. Vamsaha Pavanena Nipatitaha. So it sort of fell because of the wind. Pavanena Nipatitaha Swamulatu Ashtau Gatwa Patitaha. So Swamulatu from the base Ashtau Gatwa Patitaha. So that distance is 8. Kasmin Bhagnaha Marutvato Vachyaha. So tell me, so he has given the height and he tells you so the distance of the tip from the base. Okay. So, ashtav gatva patitaha kasmin bhagnaha. So, where did it break? So, you have to tell me this. So, this is the problem. So, this is also very very similar to this identical in fact. <coughs> so, one could uh, think of this to be the So, this is our bamboo. So, in this and uh, this distance, so he stated to be 8, I think. Yeah. So, the tip, the tip of the bamboo, in fact, the bamboo is like this. So, this broke and a part fell like this. So, this, uh, this is specified and uh, he gives this you should be able to get the desired answers. The answers are 10 and 6. Okay. So, 10 from the top and 6 from, so this is the total height, total height was stated to be 16. And the third problem is lotus. So, Kamalam Jalat Pradrishyam Vikasitam ashtangulam nivatena neetam majjati haste shigram kamalam bhasi vachye. In fact, uh, see today there is a lot of discussion which goes on as to how to make mathematics learning very interesting. So, these are all very interesting problems which one can find in this to illustrate a very simple principle and uh, application of uh, principle in a wide variety of problems. So, this is uh, again a completely different kind of a problem, but uh, you will see that it also boils down to this. So, the problem that is stated here is the following. See, he says that somebody noted a Kamala kind of a lotus okay. and this is all water. Okay. So, he says Kamalam Jalat Pradrishyam. So, this is base of the pond. So, I drew once again the circle only to show that uh, we make use of the same principle. So, all that he says is there was a wind which was flowing mildly. So, in this direction and uh, this sort of sunk. So, this flower got sunk here and it is like this. So, this is all he says Kamalam Jalat Pradrishyam Vikasitam Ashtangulam Nivatena 
neetam majjati okay nivatena neetam majjati it immerses shigram kamalam bhasi vachi tell me so what is the height of the kamala and what is the height of the water so what is the data that has been given so it, the data given is this is 8 and this distance so he specifies it as uh, vikasitam ashtangulam that is ashtangulam nivatena haste majjati haste hasta is basically 24 okay so hasta is 24 so with this once again you can see that it is the same principle jyashara samvarga nyaya you will be able to so you can see that see so if you imagine so this problem is essentially so this is stated so which is like jya you understand so jya varga so and once he gives this sometimes he gives this distance so in the case of hat rock problem so this distance was given now he is giving this distance and in another problem he gave this distance so it is all problems look very different but the principle is one and the same so the moment you use this nyaya you will be able to get solution to all of these problems I am mean, uh, going by the English translation carried by the wind it sinks to one hasta that is it means it has come down seven. Uh, no, no, no. Uh, See so when it eight. was when it was vertical so it is eight above the water. Yeah. No, no, it is no, no this hasta so majjati haste so here refers to hasta dure from the original. So yetat hasta dure majjati. Ah, ah, 24. <laughs> so this distance is 24. Majjati haste. So he says Kamalam bhasi vache. You have to quickly tell me what is the height of Kamala and what is the height of water. So the answer you can easily see it is 40 and 32. Well, everything is used on the same principle. Okay. Finally, quickly. So let us see one more problem and then I will proceed further. Ah, uh, so there is a small error here. This is matsya. It should be not matya matsya bakodesha keshwapi so this matsya baka is another kind of problem fish and crane okay matsya is fish baka is crane so this uh, so the problem is stated like this so shadvadashika vapi tasyam purvottare sthito matsya vayavya kone syat bakaha sthitaha tadbhayat turnam bhitva vapi matsya karnena Gato disham tato yabhyam parshvena agatya hataha bakena vachyam tayor yatam. This is a slight variation of this problem, not exactly identical, but he presents it this way. Okay. I will use the same figure. So, we should imagine a certain pond. So this is what is referred to as Vapi. Vapi is a certain pond. Shadvadashika Vapi. So the dimension of this, so this is Shat and this is Dvadashika. So the dimension of Vapi is stated to be 6 and 12. Shadvadashika Vapi. Tasyam Purvottare Sthito Matsyaha. Suppose uh, normally in all these uh, kind of descriptions where you may have to have geometrical figures drawn, so they will always specify some direction. Okay, so we should just take it to be this. Suppose this is east and this is north. See, so he says, "Purvottare sthito matsya." So matsya is this fish. So this fish is here in this corner of this pond. So Purvottara is northeast. Purvottare sthito matsya. It is there in that corner. Vayavya kone syad bakaha. So Vayavya actually is northwest. Okay. So baka is standing here. Okay. This is that bird. So which is this is bakasthana. 
so this is matsya and this is baka so bakaha sitaha tad bhaya turnam so this fellow fish saw that baka and uh, he thought that he should try to escape somewhere so he says bhitva vapim matsya bhitva means cutting across so vapim bhitva matsya karnena gato disham tato yamyam yamyam disham is southern direction okay so this is north so what he says is so this fish cut across this vapi and then try to come to the southern side by that time this baka also walked so it noted that he is moving and uh, this fellow went like this so along the shore and caught this at this point so now he is asking so parshvena agatya hataha bakena vachyam tayor yatam so what is the distance traveled by these two so once again you will see that it is application of the same thing so without so he only thing is what is to be understood here is this distance and this distance are one and the same so he has just shifted it and you will get the same problem and a similar solution is it fine so these are the different kinds of interesting problems so which are presented by bhaskara as illustration of these fundamental theorems okay then i will uh, very quickly discuss uh, to show how aryabhata has been able to present to formulae in very interesting uh, form of composition so this is that arithmetic progression problem so this is all uh, well known results but it is only the the charm of the language is which i wanted to convey and uh, how bhaskara has interpreted this bhaskara says presents two three expressions so it is not necessarily a single expression but you have to appropriately combine the words which has been presented in this to get different formulae so this is what it is only to show that kind of a thing i am just uh, quoting this verse and the commentary so bhaskara in fact says before commenting upon uh, the verse atra bahuni sutrani sutra is a certain formula so bahuni sutrani many formulae have been given by aryabhata in this single verse muktaka vyavasthitani see this is a certain uh, style of uh, composition see in uh, sanskrit so suppose there are two three verses which are combined then it is called yugala so these two verses have to be read together in order to get the meaning so in fact uh, kalidasa in the raghuvamsha he starts with raguna manvayam bakshye and then some uh, four five verses will be there so all these verses have to be put together in order to understand there will be only one verb so which runs through all these verses but muktaka is the opposite kind of a thing so within a single thing so you can combine independently mukta means some free kind of a thing so freely you can order these words to get one formula you can freely order some other words and then you will get a another formula so that is why he is saying muktaka vyavasthitani means they have been arranged in the muktaka format tesham yatha yogam sambandha yatha yogam means appropriately you have to put them together to get the formulae this is just to give you a flavor i thought i should do this see ishtam vyekam dalitam sapurvam uttara gunam samukham madhyam ishta gunitam ishta dhanantu athava adyantam padartha hatam formula 1 he says ishtam so this is uh, with reference to an arithmetic series so think of an arithmetic series a a plus t a plus 2d and so on so the formula he says is ishtam vyekam vyekam means one is removed from that so ishtam basically is the number of terms in the series so vyekam you remove one dalitam divided by 2 so ishtam vyekam dalitam uttara gunam uttara is the common difference so by factor with which it increases uttara uttara so uttara gunam samukham mukha is the first term so add the first term okay so what does this give you this gives you the mean so you just have to combine these words ishtam vyekam dalitam you should leave sapurvam uttara gunam samukham so it gives you madhyam madhyam the mean value of the series 
series fine so then he says madhyamam ishta gunitam ishta dhanam so this madhyama so whatever you obtain so that you take you leave the other part okay madhyamam ishta gunitam ishta dhanam so it gives you the ishta dhana ishta dhana is the sum of the n terms okay so this multiplied by n gives you ishta dhana athava adyantam padartha hritam so this is a different thing so adi is the first term anta is the last term so padartha hritam you just divide by 2 so then also you get the so these are in fact much more interesting thing has been discussed by bhaskara but i'll just stop here thank you <laughs>